You know, I've been fortunate to work for this district for over 10 years. I spent the last three years as an assistant superintendent. The exciting part of where we're at now as a district is that we've been able to change our focus from a survival mode to a continuous improvement mode. Uh, how are we going to provide the best programs, the best opportunities uh, for our students in their future? It's an exciting time for our district. We have a continuous improvement plan. It's online, it's on the uh, front page of our website. And we're in year two of that three-year plan. Uh, so part of where we're heading is to continue to hold each other accountable, uh, to continue with the clear and focused improvement efforts that we've put into place as a district and ensure that, they're, that we implement them. Uh, but that's, that's a big part of where we're going. That three-year continuous improvement plan is, is, is shedding light on the roadmap for our district. You know, excellence to me means that we are meeting the needs of our community, our students, our staff, and our parents. You know, that's what a school is. It's a reflection of its community. And we need to work as a district each and every day to ensure that we are meeting those needs, whether it be athletics, whether it be the arts, whether it be academics. That's our focus as a district, and that's what we're going to do to ensure that all of our students have the opportunities to achieve their dreams and goals. In my role of director of curriculum, now I see things a little bit differently than I had when I was outside of the district working um, as a collaborator with the district through the ESC. So I could look at test scores before and I, I could see that Strongsville was a high performing district. But now that I'm really embedded in the district, I see everything that's going on. So I'm really excited about where we're headed as a district. We've made huge strides in the last few years with the technology piece. We have our maps in place for curriculum. So we are only making positive gains. I see excellence in our district every day when I walk in and out of classrooms and buildings. We have our kids, they're engaged in learning and I'm seeing them on technology. And they're using Chromebooks, they're excited about it. Um, we're doing 21st century skills and they're gonna be college and career ready. So when our kids leave, they walk out of the door at the high school as a senior, they are college career ready. They, are, they have the skills, they can apply them and we've graduated citizens that we can be proud of. My career with Strongsville Schools started four and a half years ago, and since the day I got here, the biggest thing has been change. We are changing our facilities, we are upgrading um, things that have been broken for years, we are doing uh, improvements to our technology. It's, it's a massive amount of change, and it's going to continue for a couple more years. As the business director for the Strongsville City Schools, I see excellence, I think, different than most educators would see it. I see it from a standpoint of the building being well maintained, the, the yards being well manicured, and people taking care of our facilities, the, the custodians, the maintenance people, our food service people, when they present lunch for the students. They do it in such a manner that, that people see it and they say, wow, these people care about their jobs. Where I see Strongsville City Schools moving towards is truly into the 21st century, finally. We are changing our facilities, we're changing the technology that we have within our facilities in the way we deliver education to the students. We've been behind and now we're catching up and I think we're moving ahead and we're gonna lead instead of follow. Right now with our construction, we have completed the site package, which is all the groundwork, making sure the ground will, will properly support the building as it is constructed. They've begun the construction, which most people can see the, the building, the walls going up the concrete block of the main office area, the kitchen area, and main mechanical rooms. And that area is currently under roof and temporarily enclosed, which allows them to heat the space. And right now they are pouring concrete floors. They're putting in some of the mechanical equipment, the, such as the boilers. They're also installing the vents to uh, eventually take the uh, air around the building. They're also working on some other things as well, the, the stubs of many pipes and, and drains and electrical lines are all included. It's exciting to be inside the building. You can't see a lot on the outside because it's all enclosed.
I moved to Strongsville in first grade from South Carolina, where I then attended Kinsen Elementary. And then for um, seventh and eighth grade, I went to Center Middle School and eventually made my way to the high school where I'll be graduating this year. Winning the All-American Award meant a lot to me because it showed how much my coaches, my teammates, and uh, my community cared so much. It really showed that they believed in everything that I had done the whole season. It had always been something that I thought would be very cool to have accomplished. I think excellence means just to uh, work as hard as you can, um, doing your best all the time, just having a positive attitude and uh, getting what you've set out to do done. Mm -hmm.